I think I'm probably the biggest third grade kid out there on the playground. The kids in my class are high energy, and I think the teachers have to match that energy. You've got to be able to think like a third grader to be able to help a third grader. If they see you as a teacher, but then kind of outside of that teacher role, they know that, you know, hey, he is sincere, he is a genuine person. I think they open up a little bit more to you. And I think they realize from day one coming into the classroom that he's serious about, you know, how much he loves us. Where everybody works together. As a male in elementary education, I want to be a mentor. To be able to guide them, I could provide a little bit of stability and be a positive influence on the kids' lives. What I want my kids to learn in my classroom is perseverance. I don't want them to give up. I want them to do their very best. I instill in them that they can do whatever they want to. That's why I got into education. I want to be able to say, you know what, I made a difference for every kid that came through my door. And that's the true reason why I'm here. My name is Caitlin Brashler and I teach remote only kindergarten and first graders here at Pisgah Elementary as well as first graders face to face. So this year with being remote only, I have now been transplanted out of my classroom into families' living rooms. It's been a different year, but the students are thriving. Every day they show up on Zoom and they're excited to see me, I'm excited to see them. We work really hard every day and we have a balance of interactive activities live on Zoom and also asynchronous work. I send home math games and let them do things at home so they're getting a full picture of a normal school day at home and it's been a really interesting and fun experience to build that community with these students at home. Okay, so When teaching younger students, like first graders and kindergartners, it's important to give them a sense of independence and show them what they can do on their own. I think as teachers, it's our job to step back and allow them a chance to explore while also supporting them in what they need. One of the most rewarding things about being a teacher is just encouraging them to learn and explore, get outside, see how we can connect what we're learning in the classroom to what's outside in nature and in the world around us. I want them to be able to walk out of my classroom knowing that they are confident and that they are strong and they are capable of doing hard things. Watching them learn together and grow together and connect is a really special thing. Think of Community High School not so much as an alternative school, but a school of alternatives. We have a very close-knit community where every student knows every teacher, every teacher knows every student, and the connections we're able to form here really help students from various backgrounds with various obstacles re-engage in the school in ways that they can be successful. I really believe it's important to empower student voice and student choice and to empower students to feel like they can make a difference. A lot of the hot topics in our society and in our world today, they are tackling through writing and research. And I think it is extremely important because they need to be able to have a voice in the way our community is shaped moving forward into the future. 
I want them to want to learn and never stop learning, to find what they love and to never stop being curious, never stop inquiring about the world around them. Getting that spark where somebody says, well, how does this happen? How does this happen? They are thinking for themselves. That is the, the ultimate goal to me of true education. teaching elementary school because it's when kids start to develop their personalities and they start to figure out what they are thinking about and they develop their own opinions. So my job as a teacher is to teach them the standards, but it's also to teach them how to think. Kids learn best when they get to have experiences, hands-on learning, conversations. I love how different it is every day. I love working with the kids. I want to have a connection with my students every day. Each individual student, I want to know what's going on in their lives. It's laughing and joking, developing those relationships so that kids know that I'm a person that they can come to. Three, two, one, show me. Growing up at a military base in Germany and teaching overseas in the United Arab Emirates gave me a global experience. And so that's part of what drives me is how can I bring those experiences in those different cultures to students because we do live in a global world. Our kids are gonna be part of this greater community and we need to make sure they're ready for that. An analogy that I like is giving kids mirrors and windows, a mirror to see themselves and what they do and the books they read and the things that they learn about. But we also wanna give them windows that let them see outside of our community I want children to learn who they are as individuals. I want them to have their own opinions and ideas so that they're ready to go out into the world. I don't want to prepare my students for the end of the year. I want to prepare my students for the rest of their life. Teaching is very gratifying because I get to watch the joy on students' faces when they're connecting ideas and learning new things for the first time. Middle schoolers really are my people. We find the same things goofy and funny. We can giggle at the same stuff. We have, scarily, the same attention span, so every day is entertaining in seventh grade. If it's pushing it up, which direction is the water moving? Every day I come into school, it's new. The seventh graders are always so excited to come into science and get hands-on activities. They get to learn about their world in our classroom on a smaller scale. Just seeing them figure it out for themselves based on what they already know is so rewarding. And it happens all the time in science because they're like, oh, I get it now. And watching that exploration and seeing how it relates to their everyday life is very exciting. Learning about yourself in middle school can be hard, right? There's a lot going on in your life, you're developing, so I want them to learn that even though things are gonna be hard, that they have the toolkit necessary for them to overcome those challenges. I really enjoy working at Irwin Middle. We're producing the next citizens of our community. So we want them to have not only academic knowledge, but also emotional and character knowledge. We want them to be able to go into the community and help. As a kindergarten teacher, I set my students on their educational journey. In kindergarten, they learn to tie their shoes. I teach them how to read. I teach them how to write. I love seeing when the light bulb goes off and they're so excited and they're like, I've got it, I've got it. Listen to me, listen to me. I can do it, I can do it. And to me, Teaching is the most rewarding job that anyone can have. All right, 
I was a student who struggled in school, and I understand when they're struggling, I'm patient with them, I have empathy, and students all have different needs and different learning styles. So when I teach, we sing, we dance, we learn poetry, we move. My goal is to help each student discover their special gifts. On the last day of school, I always read the Dr. Seuss book, All the Places You'll Go, because I want my students to know that they can achieve anything in life. You're going to be the high flyers, and you're going to soar to great heights. They can reach their goal if they work hard and they don't give up on their dreams. Science is everywhere, so it's really easy to relate it to a student's day. They use their phones every morning. We walk outside, we see the weather. Science has got so many interesting parts to it. I love it, and I, I try to project that love of the subject to the students, and, and hopefully they fall in love with it. One of the keys, I think, is really listening to what your students have to say and what they're adding to the conversation. And when they share an idea, I'm like, that's a great idea, and we try to go from there. I'm constantly trying to show them how much I like to learn things. So it's exciting to see in the students' eyes, and now when everybody's wearing a mask, it's definitely in their eyes. You can see in their eyes that they really get something. And then they take that to the next level and ask their questions. My subject is easy to fall in love with. You can see in the students' projects how much they end up really enjoying the subjects that we get to teach throughout the year. At Valley Springs, it's really easy to be motivated. Our students work incredibly hard. Our expectations are so high. We want to have our students ready for their future. And that culture really permeates everything that we do here at Valley Springs. I'm moving around from student to student. <laughs> I feel like I've tried to do, I don't know why I can't just like say it, I'm sorry. I, I, don't, I don't know how the kids follow anything in the classroom. I just throw in words out half the time. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Whew, if only my eyes would stop watering. <laughs> this is my husband's like, good luck. I know you're gonna hate every minute of this. <laughs> this is harder than it looks. You guys on TV make this look like it's. So you're definitely gonna heavily edit all of this. Excellent. <laughs> the pandemic has been difficult for kids and families. Even in this year where it's been different, school is the safe place for many students and I want it to continue that way. And no matter what situation you're given, hey, you can always learn something from it. When they know that they have a teacher who loves them and cares about them, that helps them through this difficult time.